Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 4 of the R programming for biology, medicine and genetics. It's Hamid Reza Bol Hassani and I'm very happy to see you again. Okay, in this episode uh, I want to introduce you one of the most interesting also my favorite tools in R which is ggplot2. ggplot2 is a uh, uh, tools in the package tidyverse and it's very useful for data visualization data visualization okay as you know data visualization is really important method for storytelling in data science especially in the fields that are uh, that we are discussing biology medicine and genetics it's really wide okay so uh, let's see the structure of these uh, tools uh, ggplot first com then it has three main parts three mandatory parts okay data mapping and geo okay the data uh, the name tells to us yes it's the data or the data set mapping tells us how x and y values or other values uh, are mapped into x and y columns okay and this one geom uh, represent uh, is the type of uh, plot uh, for example box plot or scatter or uh, some other plots that it that you will see uh, from now uh, we will have many uh, things to do with ggplot and it's really interesting and amazing okay uh, as you remember uh, in the previous episode we have worked on this data set uh, we have uh, changed the format of counts uh, to wide uh, to long format then uh, combine it uh, to the sample info we had these two data set combine them uh, with full join and then uh, we reached this all info okay all info data set so in this episode uh, we wanna uh, work on this data set and have some data visualization real data visualization is really interesting because it will uh, show us some meaningful information okay so let's see here we can see we are working yeah it is the uh, it is the syntax ggplot we are working the, on the this data and the mapping the method of visualization we want to have the samples on x and the counts on y and the type of uh, plot okay let's practice so here we'll go to the script yeah ggplot yeah data is uh, all info uh, AES means uh, statics uh, you can see also here yeah mapping equal to a static mapping equal to EAES yeah mapping equal to AES then X equal to sample and Y equal to count then we wanna define the type of plot and I will put an enter for more uh, for better uh, uh, presentation uh, in here geom uh, underline box plot okay uh, this is the comma okay so let's run it control enter or uh, let's see so uh, yeah after some seconds we can see this and when you zoom it zoom out you can see the picture because here some uh, 
some characters are in together and uh, can't see clearly here when you zoom out you can see yes all the samples uh, sorry some delay all the samples are here and this is a box plot but you can see the uh, counts are really uh, high for uh, and we can uh, normalize them by getting logarithms uh, in uh, some uh, similar cases uh, because the counts are too high they are extremely from extremely high high counts so uh, we use logarithm 2 and base 2 uh, to normalize them into some lower values okay so here instead of uh, count we use logarithm base 2 of count okay uh, and then uh, we go here and uh, put it in the command just copy this and uh, use the logarithm base 2 here of count okay yeah and control int so you can see uh, the values are decreased by logarithm yeah here we can see uh, they are uh, very much lower than the previous one uh, but we see a warning here remove uh, 84,000 of rows containing non-finitive values what's the reason why do you, what do you see because uh, it's a warning because some of the and genes have a count of zero in the sample and the log of zero is undefined so uh, we add a small number to every count to avoid the zero being dropped okay so here we just add a one to make this problem solved okay so just i'm copying all of them because i wanna uh, because in each episode I put the codes for you and I, I upload the codes for you so you can have the sample and the main code okay so control enter yeah we didn't get that warning again okay so uh, you can see this is a box plot visualization uh, we can uh, discuss more about what this diagram tells to us in the next episodes but let's uh, finish this uh, part with some more uh, work on this data uh, yeah one of the things that you can do is that um, instead of box plot we can also use violin plot okay uh, instead of geom box plot we can use geom violin let me try geom yeah so let's see uh -huh, yes and uh, that's another type of presentation like violin uh, that I see in some uh, yeah there are uh, some journals and some publications and works have used this or are using this method of presentation okay uh, another thing that is very interesting and uh, get us closer to the data visualization and make more meaningful information is using colors I love colors because they are adding some uh, something new some values some meaning to this data so we can add this color and uh, so what equals to the method of ca uh, category or classification by the color are based on this based on the sample so you can see here different samples are in different colors uh, so let's try here after uh, we can say a e x y yeah here we can say color
Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. You can see they are categorized based on the colors selected by the R. Okay. Also, we can uh, do this uh, for geom violin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more views than the previous. So, uh, so based uh, with color uh, here parameter, we can do the classification. And maybe we can use also we can use fill instead of color, which you can see that it fills the pl box plots by, by this color. Okay. Let me try. Because I want to see you, uh, it's easy for you to see. Uh, here I will put the color sample. This time I will, I just write fill and control enter. Yeah, you can see it works fine. It works fine. It works fine. Sorry. Yeah, it fills. It fills with this color instead of just uh, like this. You can see here just not filled. It's just the name of the board, uh, the lines, okay, the color of lines. But here it fills with these colors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that looks nice. Okay. Until the exercise, I think. Uh, we had the first experience of uh, visualization here in this uh, course series and I'm very happy that a very fantastic journey just started and I'm really uh, enthusiastic about that and I also encourage you to uh, follow this nice journey okay I hope that this would be uh, this was useful and informative for you and I hope to see you in the next videos bye